Yeah, okay, so give him a book, and then I'll ask him to write down, like, kind of as homework, write down five tunes that they'd like to learn, or five artists, or something like that, and say that, like, our goal will be to learn songs as cool, uh, the cool songs that you want to learn as quickly as possible. Um, but there's some kind of, some fundamentals we have to get out of the way. Um, but don't, like, don't worry, today we will learn, we will learn a song or two, um, just to get started with. So when you do talk about the fundamentals, the first thing that we got to talk about is the string names. I ask them to play the lowest string. And then, and then they kind of look down and they know it's not these two in the middle, right? If they play, if they play the one lowest to the ground, like this, then obviously I point out, oh no, that one's lowest to the ground. But in music, we deal with the realm of the ear, right? Where hearing is all that matters. We're looking for the lowest in pitch. Yeah, exactly. And so that's why this is the lowest string, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they got to know which one's the low string. Yeah. And then, okay, okay, go ahead and play the low string. You know, and then they play it. And now say every. They go, every. Okay. And then you write down every. Okay, so every. This is going to be our E string. Say every again. You know, and you do it like that. It's kind of, it, you know, you take it nice and slow. you got a half hour. And basically what you're going to cover is the names of the strings. A little bit about standard notation, why we're not going to do standard notation, then we're going to do tab. Oh, you know how tab works? You ready for the test? You know, and they think that's humorous generally because they've been playing for 15 minutes and they're not ready for a test, but they are ready for the test. And then you you like, well, let's try learning a song. Okay, and then we learn a song, and I'll, I'll, t I'll t show you the song, and then it's like, okay, but let's choose these fingers. Do you see why we use these fingers? Okay, cool. And then you do the last song. So basically you cover all that in 30 minutes. You have time to be patient, but not time to kind of like... Play the next string. All right, and then you play it, and then they play it. And say, okay, say alien. And they're like, okay, this is getting kind of weird, alien. All right, so then you write down alien underneath of um, uh, every. So you've got, so you're writing on the page, every alien. Okay, and then you can just, if you, then, then I mean, if you want, you can try different things. You could say, you can just write the next two, drinks, Gatorade. Every alien drinks Gatorade. Now, you, let's play it together and let's say this, this funny phrase. Let's go, every alien drinks Gatorade. What's the low string? They go, every. So what is that? That's, what's, what's the first letter of every? E, okay. So it'll be every average dog, or that's guitar. Every alien drinks Gatorade. So it's going to be our E string, right? E, every, A, alien, D, drinks, G, Gatorade. And you, you have to kind of walk with them through that for a minute. All right, so you got the names of the strings. Okay, so that's, the, and you tell them, okay, you have to memorize that. That's a must. That's an absolute must. You really need to do that. But that's very easy, isn't it? There's only four strings. And you got to remember every alien drinks Gatorade. Every alien drinks Gatorade. Every alien drinks Gatorade. Every alien drinks Gatorade. Um, you, sometimes I point out how much easier that is than memorizing the times tables depending on their age, you know what I mean? Like the times table is a huge elaborate thing that they memorize. Here's four strings, anybody do it. They probably have already done it and you could do it in the car ride home.